Lipia alba, a plant of many names. Bushy mat grass, bushy lipia. Waihaka lemon verbena, wani lama, as it's known in Costa Rica. And Todon heel is the common name in South America, which translates to lemon balm. This is in fact how I was introduced to this plant. Lemon balm is in the mint family, Lamiaceae, and Lipia alba is in the Verbena family, Verbeniaceae. I was introduced to this plant as Toronheal, and in vernacular terms, it's both Toronheal and Lemon Verbena. I've been growing the plant for a decade, from when it was first brought to me from the Andes Mountains. It is native to the tropical and subtropical southern United States, Mexico, the Caribbean, Central and South America. It is a member of the prolific Verbena family, or Vervain family, a family of mainly tropical flowering plants that are notable for a cluster of small flowers, many that have a strong aromatic scent. It's a multi-branch shrub reaching a height of about five to six feet in height. Lipia alba prefers a position in full sun to partial shade in any moderately fertile, well-drained soil. It doesn't seem too picky on soil types, and it's an adaptable plant. It's also perennial, easy to grow and easy to propagate. You can propagate by seed or softwood cuttings. I've also placed a cutting in water with much success of rooting. When it starts growing and rooting, transplant it to a moderately sunny location. Lipia alba will survive in full sun, but it seems to thrive in partial shade. As a tropical, it has a high heat tolerance. Lipia alba is a shrub whose essential oils has important biological, pharmacological, and aromatic properties. The strong aromatics of the crushed leaves indicate strong essential oils. The essential oil composition is unique to each plant, and the most abundant compounds found in Lipia alba are linalool and limonene. Lipia alba terpenes, the fragrant oils, have therapeutic benefits. Many of the positive attributes to Lipia alba can be connected to its essential oil components. Terpenes are promising for use in the pharmaceutical, aromatic and perfume industries. There are indications for such aromatics to be suitable for the agricultural chemical industry because of its proven antifungal, incesticidal, and repellent properties. Essential oils are primarily produced by the plant leaves, and the chemical composition of essential oils consists of a mixture of many organic compounds varying in concentrations that can range from very low quantities or trace amounts to major compounds. Lipia alba contains a rich source of linalool, which is of value in perfumes and flavors. It's found in lavender and is a known sedative. Carvone is another major component identified in Lipia alba. It has fungicidal and antimicrobial properties. This terpene is a useful carminative and a main component to the essential oils and aromatics of spearmint and dill. Citral is found naturally in many citrus fruits and offers a sweet lemony flavor when added to foods and beverages. Citral is commonly found in apricot, lemon, lemongrass, orange, and lime. Citral offers sedative antiviral and antibacterial effects. Lemonine is commonly associated with fruity citrus aromas, and it's found in rosemary and fruit rinds. It's known to be uplifting. Lemonine provides stress relief, as well as an antifungal, antibacterial, and may help relieve heartburn. Lemonine provides insecticide and repellent activities, and is found in many cosmetics and cleaning products. Lipia alba has anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, sedative, 
relaxant, analgesic, antiviral, and antispasmodic properties. It's known for its digestive soothing effects. Lipia alba has been treasured medicinally for thousands of years by indigenous people in Central and South America. The plant is harvested from the wild or cultivated in gardens as a medicinal plant. The leaves are used for flavoring foods, such as soups or mole sauce from Oaxaca, Mexico. Used externally, the aromatic leaves are used in herbal baths to relieve fevers, cramps, stomach pain, and spasms. For cases of cough and cold, fresh leaves can be used in a delicious herbal infusion. Lipia alba makes a pleasant tasting tea from the aromatic leaves. The tea has been enjoyed as a remedy in Central America for respiratory disturbances, including influenza. A medicinal tea is prepared from the leaves to induce sweat, also used as an antispasmodic, a menstrual aid for cramps, and a stomach tonic for pain. A variety of teas and things to drink other than water is an excellent source of vitamins, minerals, and medicine. The tea can be prepared by boiling fresh or dried leaves. Today we're gonna to make one of my absolute favorite infusions with the Totem Heal Lipia Alba. A lot of these are the herbs that we picked today from the garden. We have Krishna Tulsi to give it that nice purple color. We have some Vana Tulsi, Lipia Alba, and some pineapple sage. So the aerial parts of the plant, we're gonna just do a basic infusion with hot water. Another option is that you can make teas and infusions, like a solar infusion. Summertime is the perfect time for that. You get to go out into the garden, go and harvest some of your plants that are growing most abundantly in the summertime. And Lipia Alba is an excellent summer infusion. It has, it's high in the terpene lemonine, so it has that wonderful lemony taste, very uplifting, very soothing. So over here we have the Krishna Tulsi, which I'm gonna go ahead and put inside of my jar here. I'm just taking the leaves and I'm actually, this is a beautiful flower. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in water and try and root that. And here we have the pineapple sage. Again, this plant is very aromatic too. So we're using a lot of aromatic herbs. Tulsi being an adaptogen helps you adapt to stress. I can't think of a better drink to have over the summer. Here we have the aerial parts, the leaves. I might go ahead and even stick this little Lipia alba inside of water to have it root. So we're gonna get all our plant matter in here. I'm just taking off the majority of the stem, like I said, that way I can root it. We have the tulsi, and I'm gonna add a special herb in there today to really bring out a vibrant color to this tea blend. I'm gonna add in some butterfly pea flower. I do sell these at the Oviedo Farmer's Market, really pretty bags. So we're gonna go ahead and put the dried butterfly pea flower in there. It's gonna make a beautiful lilac purple color. Add some hot water here. Already it's starting to take on the color. And you can smell those aromatics of the lemon verbena, which has so many useful properties being anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial. You have it as an antiviral herb. This is absolutely just gorgeous. And now that it's been steeping for a while, we have all the aromatics in there, all the beautiful colors of with Lipia Alba, we have the pineapple sage. And as you see, we have that beautiful blue color. And I added that in addition just to be fun to have a beautiful colored tea with the Lipia Alba. It's gonna have a wonderful lemon flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and change the pH of this tea now. 
So the cool thing about butterfly pea flowers is that once you have something more acidic and you add it to the tea, it's gonna go ahead and change the color. So now we're gonna have a magenta tea. So this is a wonderful summertime tea to share with your friends, to have the aromatics of lemonine, and to have a magical potion of color-changing tea. And it smells amazing.